What's up to the realest gang out there? It's your girl Star the Realest, and I'm back with another video. They like nigga, who you with? I'm with the realest gang. We don't care nothing about your gang, they ain't real as us. Think you talking rah rah, we don't care cause they ain't lit as us. Ain't no pressure about no money, we gon' run it up. Wow, 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 yeah. Talk about wow, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, 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 yeah. Talk about wow, 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 wow. And before we get started with this video, I just want to say welcome if you're new. And if you're old, welcome back. I knew y'all would love it here. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe. Yes, I'm saying that in the beginning of the video because you're going to love it here. Now, without further ado, let's get right into the video. As you can see by the title of this video, I'm doing a back to school freshman advice. No, I'm not a freshman. No, I'm not in school. But we won't get into that in the video. I just wanted to give y'all freshmen some advice and like tell y'all what I've been through and what I've experienced or whatever. Cause I think it'll be good for y'all. So listen up. <laughs> and I'm talking freshmen in high school, not freshman college. That's gonna be another video. We gonna start with the high schools. Cause yeah, we're gonna do that. Cause I got some tea for y'all and I hope you're ready. Okay, y'all, so we're going to start with the things to stay away from list first. I got some points for y'all. Well, pointers. So, number one, things to stay away from, skipping class. If you're a freshman, you just got to high school. Yeah, you're trying to see what's fun about it, what's the hype about. Skipping class is not cool at all. For one, you're missing the lesson. So when it's time to take that test, you're gonna fail it. Cause why? You skipped class and you didn't get your lesson for the day. You can't depend on people giving you the answers all the time or sending you the homework. Cause baby, you missed out and you should have went to class. Yeah, skipping class might seem cool until that ass get caught. But for real, until you get caught, please don't skip class, y'all. It's not worth it at all. Have I skipped class before in my high school days? Yeah, but it was for a reason. It was for a reason. That's a long story. That teacher. <sighs> and I didn't even skip class for real. I skipped her class and went to another class. So, yeah. I wasn't just in the bathroom or like in the hallways lollygagging. Don't skip class. Girl or boy, get your education. Stop playing. Like, it's going to take you a long way. Number two. Thing to stay away from under number two. Exposing. Don't get exposed. <laughs> For real. <laughs> I, I ain't never been exposed because I don't send those type of videos or pictures. That's just me. Not judging if you do, but I, I've known people like in the past who've been exposed and it's not a good look. Don't be around somebody who is exposing somebody or if you, you want to send pictures and videos out, just make sure you're doing that with the right person. Please don't get exposed your freshman year because that's going to carry, it's going to be on your back until your senior year, baby. Like, you're going to want to leave that school. Do not get exposed. Stay away from people who expose people. Like, don't be, don't be messy. I don't know. Just don't get exposed, please, because it won't be good at all. That, getting exposed, I don't, okay. How can I say this? Because I never experienced getting exposed. I'm going to just try to put myself in somebody else's shoes. I feel like, Getting exposed will make someone not want to come to school anymore. Will obviously, hold on, obviously bring that person down and have them looking at their, their sales different. And it'll make somebody else look at you different. First of all, you're going to get talked about. It's just going to be bad. Please don't get exposed. Like, don't even, if you don't know the person for real, for real, or like if you know you can't trust them, don't send a picture, don't send the video. Cause you send it to them, guess what? The whole school about to have it. It's called airdrop. <laughs> like, don't get airdrop. Please don't get airdrop. Number three, popular kids. Yes, there's gonna be multiple groups. Oh, they gotta click here, they gotta click there. You feel like a loner. Just be yourself, like, really there's no, okay, there's a such thing as popular kids, but really it's not. Like, just cause you don't have friends, don't mean you're not that girl or you know that guy just because you're not popular doesn't mean that you don't have something special going on about you you ain't gotta be in no click to be the sh feel me <laughs> you ain't gotta be in no click to be the shit, okay 
You can kick shit by yourself, all by your lonely, and you'll be fine. But yeah, don't let the term, I meant the um, words popular kid, boost your head up or like, you know, make you look at yourself different because you see somebody else with more stain than you in the school. And don't try to be under that person either, that one popular kid. What I'm trying to say is stand out, be yourself, don't follow anyone, don't be a follower. Like, yeah, you can be a part of the cool clique or whatever, but if you're not, don't think that you lame because you got your own thing going on. And guess what? You're a leader. You're not being a follower. So don't let the, oh, they're the popular kids. I wish I was them. No, keep doing you. You never know. Maybe you'll find friends along the way and create your own little crew. But yeah, I ain't gonna lie. In high school, I was popular. <laughs> but I didn't let it get to my head. Like I was cool with everybody. People who was called lames, I was cool with them. People who was just called weird or whatever, I was cool with them. Like I said, I was cool with literally everybody, except for bullies. If, if I seen you bullying somebody and you try to be my friend and get me to do it, no, don't do that. And that ties into my next point, bullying. <sighs> don't go to school thinking you a bully. No matter what you're going through at home, do not come to school and take that out on somebody else because you never know what somebody else is going through. You're not the only one going through things, so don't take it out on someone else because that can lead to shit. That can lead to somebody being suicidal, like they getting bullied at school. There's so many cases <clears throat> in the world today where somebody has committed suicide because of bullying at school. Like, you're not safe in school at all. you hiding from bullies nowadays. It's, um,. What's it called? Shootings. Like, but that's a whole nother story. Bullying. Don't don't be a bully. And for freshmen, this is freshman advice. Don't don't let bullies get to you. Don't put up with that shit. <laughs> Stand up for yourself. Stay away from them. And you know, don't keep your head down. Keep your head up and knock the ass out. Period. Let me start. <laughs> You're a bully. You're not cool at all. You're lame. And uh, what do you gain from that? Hey y'all, stay away from the um, bullies. Um, I lost count of what tip I was on, but it says messy group chats. Mm. Messy group chats though, let me catch my name in one. Let me stop. But for real, messy group chats, don't get no messy group chat, cause baby, let me stop playing with y'all for real, for real, for real. For real. I really need to be serious because I'm really trying to help y'all out. Don't join a messy group chat or if you feel like your friends are going to have you in some drama that you don't want to be in. You know, be the adult that you are because you are now in ninth grade, so you're getting older. Um, just tell them, you know, this ain't me, it's not cool. And if they don't agree with that, obviously they're not real friends if they want to just sit around and talk about somebody else all day. Yeah, it's cool, ha ha ha. Oh, look at her hair, da 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 da. Not saying that's cool, but if you do that, then okay, you do that. But like, that extreme messy group chats and shit, like, that, that ties in with exposing and airdropping and all that. Don't, don't have friends that do that. I'm telling you now, because when that person find out that they're in your group chat, you might not give a fuck, but hey, I'm just saying, you wanna avoid that big ass problem. Let me stop cursing. You want to avoid that problem, for real. And it's not cute, it's not cool to be messy. Like, why are you being messy? Why are you sitting around talking about people? Hmm? They mind their business, they not stun you. But yeah, don't be messy, guys. Don't be in messy group chats. The messy group chat, people will always talk about other people because when they talk about themselves, nobody listens. That's just real tea right there. People wanna start messy group chats, which y'all need to be doing is starting a study group chat. Get some friends that like to study. Y'all go to the library or something, study together, make a group chat. Don't just send the answers. Like really learn the material together. Like, you know, just, you know, have that type of group. Don't join no messy group chat because that's not cool. And like I said, people only talk about other people because when they talk about themselves, ain't nobody listening. Before we move on from messy group chats, I just want to say don't be in it because what if one of the girls in the group chat lies and say that it was you the whole time it was them and now you in some stirred up crap. These girls coming to jump you because you in a messy group chat when you ain't had nothing to do with it. You just in the group chat. 
don't surround yourself with those type of people because it could be a problem. Not for them, but for you. Everybody pointing fingers. Oh, it wasn't me, it was Ashley that sent it. Mm-hmm, show me the receipts. <laughs> well, yeah, y'all, don't, don't be messy. It's not cute. Like I said, I forgot what tip I'm on, but we're gonna talk about peer pressure. Please don't get peer pressure, guys. If you don't smoke, don't smoke. If you don't drink, don't drink. But we're talking about school, so obviously. Y'all better not be drinking in school. Y'all better not be drinking in school. <laughs> That's wild. We ain't even did it in my school, I don't think. You drunk at school? Mm, yeah, we don't drink. But um, smoking or doing drugs, anything, pre being peer pressured into bullying somebody, don't fall for it, don't go for it. Yes, thank you, take him out there. Don't fall for it, don't go for it. If you don't wanna do something, don't do it. Put your foot down and tell them no. Tell them no. Cause nine times out of 10, they're not your real friends or they're trying to talk you into doing something they know you don't do or they know you don't want to do. Don't get peer pressure into skipping class. Don't get peer pressure into bullying somebody. Don't get peer pressure into skipping school. F class, don't, don't skip school <laughs> at all. Yeah, y'all stay away from people who peer pressure you like, just smoking real quick, twin. Hit the blunt. Hit the blunt, twin. It ain't gonna do nothing. Like, you don't know what's in that blunt. Um, I don't know about everybody's school, but my school had security. Did, yeah, we had security. And you can get in trouble. So don't be smoking on the school property. And if you don't smoke, don't get talked into smoking. Period. All you gotta do is say no. And they might think, oh, you lame, you lame. So, so. That's another thing about the popular kids. They might start calling you lame because you don't want to do what they're doing and hang with them. It's okay, because at the end of the day, you're going to stand out and you're going to shine on your own. I ain't trying to sound like no lame or whatever. Y'all have y'all fun, but this is just me telling y'all what I think y'all shouldn't do. Because, I don't know, some of this stuff really mess up your record too. Like, you're going to get put out of school, go to another school. It's going to just be adding up on your record. And you won't get accepted to certain colleges, so. More of the story, don't fuck up your freshman year because you just got to high school and you already messing up. No, tighten up. Tighten up. <laughs> boys. Well, relationships. Because this video is probably for boys too. I mean, it's not probably, but probably boys watching. I don't know. I don't want to just target females. So boys and girls. Relationships. Keep your head in them books. Don't get caught up in a relationship that you know not going to last. Saying like, yes, high school sweethearts are real. I've been with my boyfriend since high school. I'm just saying I, what I've witnessed. I'm telling y'all what I've witnessed. Don't lock in with somebody if you know it's just, you know, for the time being. Because if you fall too hard and the other person don't, guess who's going to be hurt? You. So, X out the boys, X out the girls. Keep your head in the books freshman year. Don't go into freshman year thinking you're going to be booed up. Well, a senior, baby, they finna go to college. They not stun your little ass. <laughs> they not gonna be stun you. I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. Like, stay focused. That's, that's what I want to say about the relationship part. Like, keep your head in the books. Don't worry about a relationship. You're still young. You know, you just came from middle school. Do your schoolwork. I don't know. Join the club. Join the activity. Get your credits built up. Start, start freshman year. Start building your credits. Because when senior year come, you're going to need them. If you have social anxiety, I would just recommend like wearing he wearing headphones if your school allows them. Wear your headphones, but still keep your head high. You know, just put in headphones, you know, zone out. Act like it's just you there. I know it's going to be hard because some schools are overcrowded. But don't, don't let it build up in you and then, you know, you just explode on somebody one day. You know, there's like libraries in schools or the gym or a classroom that you can go to. Step away for a second, breathe, take it all in, let it all out, and then resume. If you're feeling overwhelmed, you can always go to a place. What in my school we had like a safe place. So students go there with social anxiety and they feel better. Obviously they're away from all the chaos in the hallways and stuff and that's where they go to calm down. And to just take a break from it all. No friends. You don't have no friends? That's okay. Hey, I got to a point in high school where my friends ended at like junior year. Junior year, senior year. 
people who I was friends with forever, we wasn't friends anymore. It was no hard feelings though. You just stop talking to certain people or they stop talking to you, but you can't let that get to you. So what I'm trying to say is if you don't have no friends, it's not the end of the world. Cause everybody not your friend anyways. And most friendships don't last a lifetime. Some do. Find you a good friend or let a friend come to you. Like, I don't wanna say go looking for a friend, but like if that bond is there naturally and you don't have to force it, they don't have to force it, that's your real friend. And if they're like there for you, how they're supposed to be, that's your real friend. What I was trying to say was if you don't have friends, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. You'll make friends. Some people go through their whole freshman year without being in the club or a, um, on a team or anything. Some people go through their whole freshman year without finding friends. Yeah, you might have a few associates, but can you really call them? Can you really call them friends at the end of the day? But that's okay because really, really freshman year, nine times out of ten, somebody got a clique of friends because they they've known each other from middle school. So don't feel seen without. You're gonna get to know somebody too, but most of the time people just come from the same middle school, then they go to the same high school, or if they're on a team or something, they're gonna automatically be friends with their teammates or their club, their organization. So don't feel left out. If you don't have friends, it's okay. Next, I mean, another tip is grades. Try to keep your grades up as long as you try. That's all that matters. You studied, you know you did your best, you know you tried your hardest, and the outcome is the outcome. Like, as long as you know you study and you try it, um, you're gonna get a good grade. Keep your grades up. Um, I know at my school, um, if your grades were low, you couldn't like participate in any sports or extracurricular activities. So if you wanna do those things, make sure your grades are up. Another tip is cars, like vehicles. Um, don't stress about it your freshman year just in just because you see your friend with a car or not even your friend Just somebody else like somebody in your classroom or in your grade Don't stress about having no car in ninth grade because you are a freshman and most freshmen ride the bus or they take they get carpool because You're coming out of middle school, but some nowadays. I know for a fact freshmen be one cars I wanted a car in ninth grade. I ain't gonna lie, but I didn't get one too What year was that? sophomore or junior i still didn't drive to school though but that's a long story really sometimes i've seen people who not even your friends want to be your friend because they know you got a car so if you're not having a car that's going to avoid all the fake friendships people just want to pile up in your car and just they just want to ride for you because they know you're the one with the car and it's just fake point blank period so don't be stressed about no car because it's gonna come Keep your head in them books, get your grades up, and you're gonna get a car. I hope you all enjoyed this video. That was my last tip. Um, I can't remember a lot from freshman year, but those are my like main points I thought I'd let y'all know and tell y'all what not to do. But yeah, if you listen to me, you listen to me. If you don't, you don't. Guys, I hope these tips made sense to you because sometimes I tend to know what I want to say, but when I start talking, I get nervous and it's all jumbled up or it comes out the wrong way. And I would redo this video, but I have another video to film. So hopefully if you understood it, you understood it. If you didn't, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Just know I still <clears throat> I still love you. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching this video. Y'all already know what's going on. Pause. If you watched this whole video and you didn't subscribe, what are you doing? Go and click that subscribe button. Give my video a thumbs up. Comment in the comments. Like y'all talk to me. I keep telling y'all at the end of all my videos to talk to me. And <laughs> y'all still don't be talking to me. It's like, do y'all really love me or what? Mm, it's not giving y'all love me, but it's okay. Um, yeah, y'all already know what's going on. Keep it real, keep it true. Start a realest game, and we got this thing. Let me show y'all how long my hair is, period. Y'all can't tell though. Ooh, bow, bow, bow. <laughs> I love y'all, and I'm out.